Hi, Lorena. Hey, how are you? Fine. And you? Happy. How do you say? <laughs> Happy Friends Day. <laughs> oh. I don't know what happened with my camera. Sorry. Yeah. Happy Valentine's me. Day as well. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird because I see my my my, my <laughs> but... camera, it's like shaking. <laughs> don't know, it's crazy. Yeah, like and me. You know, last night, uh, I was not able to record anything. Really? See, now, now it changed. Now you can see better, right? Yeah. So I didn't nice. record the class. Imagine. So we are going to repeat the class again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, exactly. But it's good because uh, yeah. we can review some topics. Now that you are the only one here with me, we are going to clarify any doubts you have. Yeah. I like since you're very responsible and thank you very much for being on time as well. Happy Valentine's yeah. Day, Lorena. Yeah, you too. Uh, did you work today? Yeah, I did. All right, very well. Uh, so, yeah, to today we're going to basically... Mm, talk about the same topics we studied yesterday but we are going to add an extra class okay. uh in let's see in march so we will have an extra class since yesterday i didn't for some reason the class was not recorded so we are going to uh recover that class basically two days for the students who were not connected last night and we are going to have an extra class on uh, March the 1st. Imagine, so I I, I worked yesterday. Mm. <laughs> In vain. But we, but the thing that was a, a gift for us, no? That you give a class as a gift you for us. You will have an extra <laughs> class and that is very good for you guys who were, uh, who, who attended yesterday to the class. Because, uh, well, we are going to have like a quick review as well. We are going to review or try to uh, cover the same topics we covered yesterday. Because yesterday class was basically like gone. No class from yesterday. But you were in the class. That is good. You. That is a good, the good point. Okay. Yeah. All right. So... Hello, Edgardo. Welcome back. And hello, Lisette. How are you? Are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good, good evening. Hey, welcome, Alberto. Uh, as I mentioned, guys, we are going to repeat it this. I'm going to send it in the group of WhatsApp as well. We will have a class in March the 1st. Since yesterday, the class was not recorded. Mire, no se grabó la clase, así que ni modo. Vamos a repetir la clase. Pero ustedes ya están adelantados, so you are uh, one step ahead, so that that is good. Uh, that is good news for you, but not good news for me because I have to work an extra day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, it's okay. Mm, I don't know why. I don't know why the internet is kind of weird, but the the class is recording today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now I have to, to see every single time I access that the class is recorded. But we have a very bad connection at this moment. Right? Yeah, you're freeze right now. I am freeze, yeah. I will have to call my, my provider, Tigo provider, because I mean, I have like 20 gigs of internet and I am the only one using it. And I am actually connected to directly to the modem. You see the modem is over there. Yeah. 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 Is yes. it? And it's, it's directly connected. And I don't know why I have this bad connection. Anyways, guys, today we will continue and good for the ones who were not yesterday because we will basically cover this almost the same topics but we will practice anyways with the new well with some other topics hello angela welcome uh, hello zero can you help me with the cameras guys yes 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Sorry, I'm killing mosquitoes because they bite me every single moment. They love me. <laughs> yeah. So that is kind of weird. I mean, it seems that there is a ghost in, in here. The, the camera is kind of crazy, right? Yeah, it's mixing everything. That was weird. Very, yeah, very weird. Okay. Uh, help me uh, with the cameras, Lisette and Claudia. Where, what happened to you? I'm on my job. Okay. Monday yes. and Tuesday, right, Claudia? Yes. Okay. On Friday too. On Friday, Friday too. too. This Friday we will have classes, but next yes. Friday we will not have classes, but we will have okay. classes, guys, in March the 1st. I will explain to you the reason why in the group for the ones who will be connected later. Um, Lisette, are you there? That is kind of crazy. Sorry. Yes, in this moment, I there is a, there is a ghost. Mira, Zoom no me quiere, ¿verdad? Porque mira, ayer no me grabó la clase y como que tenemos que, vamos a tenerla que programar una vez más. So we are going to cover the same topic that we did yesterday. In this case, I, I hate this. There's something really weird with Zoom. I mean, it's, it's acting. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's with my camera, right? Yeah, with your. I think, I think it's Zoom. It's not working. It's acting. I, I it is actually it was actually trying to uh I sent you a picture where it was up installing updates but it already did I don't know what's going on I hope my computer doesn't broke up that uh, doesn't break up actually okay or it's not broken up broken down look <laughs> Oh my God, this is crazy. Okay. Yesterday. In, my, in my case, yesterday, I don't know in the class for my da class? granddaughter died. Your granddaughter died? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lise, to hear that. That is so sad. I'm sorry, but thank you very much for being connected, Lisette. Uh, we will have, we will cover the same things that we did yesterday because if you wanted to check the video, you didn't watch it completely. Uh, completely, It was just recorded for 15 minutes. That is why we will uh, cover the class for the ones who were not connected yesterday, okay? But obviously you're, you're very welcome to practice and to, um, Uh, participate uh, since you already know those topics okay um, teacher hi. i have a a, a question uh, yes. where where can i watch the the class guys i think my computer is it's it has an issue claudia uh, yesterday hmm. oh last last night the class was not recorded by a mistake either i didn't realize that the class was not re recording and probably that is why you didn't watch the whole class only 15 minutes of of, of this okay. class all right but normally you have a link where you just go to the to youtube or there is a link that you just access directly All right. Have you watched videos before? Have you watched the classes in some other occasion? No. All right. So, uh, guys, Masusta, I'm scared with, with my computer. I hope that it's okay. But anyways, look, I'm going to show you uh, how. Let me confirm. I'm going to show you the um, this email. Okay, oh. the email is se ven todas las cámaras de todo, ¿ve? ¿Verdad? Is that what you see, guys? Yeah, yeah. that's what. Yes, he's happy with Claudia. Also, Claudia. I mean. 
I saw it with Lorena, but I thought it was my yeah. computer. But now it's it seems that it yeah. has oh. that it's my computer. I try to close it and open it again. Claudia, let me share the, my screen. Normally, when you um, join or when you sign up for the course, you receive this email. Yes, I receive it. So there is uh, there is the link that says presentation. Let's see. Lista de producción YouTube. So there you should have the link. If not, okay. I will try to send it to you. Uh, I hope that there is no problem. There is no problem. I will have to turn off the camera for a while. So hopefully it's it's a little bit better later. I will send it okay. to you. I will send you the link. Uh -oh. This should be the one where you can access directly to the. I send it to you in WhatsApp. Also, I will Thank send you. it to you in the regular chat in Zoom. My pleasure. But yesterday class was not completed, so that's what I mentioned. We are going to uh, cover certain uh, certain topics. Obviously, it's not going to be the same thing, but we will cover the same topics that we studied yesterday. All right. So help me, guys. What um what did we cover yesterday? What was the main topic that we were talking about? The model verbs. The models, right? All right. So uh, we're going to write here models in pre-advanced. All right. And I'm going to share my screen right now. Guys, I believe that this is kind of mm, disgusting to be watching my video like that. So I'm going to turn off the camera today. I wouldn't like to um, leave and coming back since yesterday that is what happened. And for some reason, the class was not recorded. So I will leave it like this. All right. So we were also, I was also um, willing to review some details when you are giving reasons. All right. Normally, when we give reasons, we say, all right, uh, I am. I studied English to get a better job. That is the main, um, the main reason or the most common um, expression. Like instead of we we can say in order to, we just say to, right? To give reasons. But we have also some other expressions. Do you have, or do you remember the difference between using because or because of? Do you have this clear? Ah, no. Uh, no. <laughs> um, but you can see you can see what you can see here, right? What's the difference when you're giving reasons and you say because and because of according to the video you watched? What a silence. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, no teacher. No, all right. Uh, we have we have since we have for and we have because or because of. There is another one. Uh, the reason why, yes, we can also say the reason why I am studying is right. The reason why or the reason what? Or the reason why or the reason that? The reason that I study English is because. All right, I want to uh, to polish my English. I want to have a better job. I want to have a better opportunity, etc. Because so you give the reason in this case. You say especially the reason. Okay, so uh, use an example, guys. Using uh, because I just told you my example. Okay, uh, why. because, because uh -huh. in, in this expression, because, all right, you give the, exp the explanation, because I need a better job, because I want to have, uh, I want to travel, because 
I need more money, I need a better job, I need etc. So that is the reason. That is when you use because. Okay, now give me one example, each of you. The reason why I'm studying English is because I want to remember the, the to remember it. Okay. Uh, the reason you are studying English is to practice, right? To remember yeah. words, to uh, learn new things, etc. Okay, that's a very good example. And another example, uh, Albert. Well, the reason I am learning English or I am improving English is because I need to learn different cultures all over the world and meet world. travel and meet different, yeah. Let me help you. Okay. That was the hardest word that I learned that was that I was not able to pronounce it correctly. And unfortunately, this camera, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but it's world. All right. Remember the oh, world. world. <laughs> okay. Okay. World. world. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is kind of weird. Yeah, but it's world. Yeah. All right, remember to pronounce world. the world. Okay, so the world. reason is because so you want to know different cultures around the world. Nice. That's yeah. the that is a good reason. The next, uh, give me another example, please, Edgardo. Uh, the reason I have been studying engineering is because. It was my dream. Okay. Because it was my dream. All right. So you say because and you say the reason. Now, another example, Angela. And the reason because uh, I... The reason why, the reason that, and then you say because. Uh-huh. Mm, because... I need a uh, learning English. I need? Aha. Uh -huh. Learn English. I before. need to learn English. I need, I need to, to learn, learn English. English. Remember, when because... we use two verbs, we need to separate the, the verbs, all right? Need and learn. So we need to use two. I guess, need yes, two. Yes, it's true. Yes, thank you. I need to learn English. Because my daughter, my little daughter, uh, she needed, needed, uh, I speaking. Because your daughter, what? Um, um, I don't know the expression. <laughs> um, she need, she need. What's near? Uh, I I teaching the English or have you English? I don't know. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I was muted. Vaya, I need to learn, vaya, me dijo. The reason why I am learning English is because I need to learn what? Uh, because my daughter, she needed to uh, work her work. No sé cómo explicarme, pero decir que ella necesitaba que le dara con sus tareas. Uh -huh. Because my daughter necessitava. Well, how do uh -huh. you say necessitava? Was need. Maybe? Was need, no. Necessitava. Simple past, corazón. Ah. Está, ayer, aquel día, ah. no el simple past, que she simplemente need... decimos el verbo en pasado. Uh -huh. she... My daughter needed. 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 Muy bien, gracias. Needed. needed. My daughter what? needed. Uh... My help. Me ayuda. My help. Ah, okay. uh, yes. Hagámoslo simple, Ángela, ¿ok? Acuérdese, okay. sujeto, verbo, 
comple eh, complemento. Así es la forma de hablar en pasado. I need to learn to my daughter be my head. I need to learn English because my daughter needed my help eh, yes. with her homework. All right, I like this, the one that Jonathan just texted. The reason why I started to drink more water is or was, all right? Is or was, you can say is or was, cualquiera de las dos, si es en pasado, because was. I want to be healthier, all right? Oh, uh, because I want to prevent a urine infection, right? Cuando no toma agua, you can have infection. It's very, very painful. The reason why I started to drink more water because I want to be healthier, say Claudia and Jonathan. Oh, no, this was, this was Claudia's. The other for Jonathan is this. Thank you guys for your participation as well. The reason why I need to practice playing the drums more is because I am a newbie. What do you mean with new, newbie? Uh, right, uh, can you explain to us why, why you say that? Okay, let's see, Ciro. What is your example? Yes, teacher. The reason to work hard is because I need to save money. To save money, decir or yes. say, say is decir. No, say, say, say. Ah, very good. Vamos a ver <laughs> si la pantalla me deja, guys. Vamos. Save. 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 Very good. Save. 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 All right, save because we need money. to save money. Okay. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Very nice example. Uh, who's missing? Who was missing the examples? A new B. Thank you, Jonathan. Okay. Very good, guys. Uh, now, if we're saying because of, in this case, we mentioned a noun, okay? For example, um, I learned English because of my daughter, all right? Because of my daughter, ah, porque, por mi hija, right? Because of my daughter. Oh, I am working because of my, um, I am traveling because of my job, okay? I am repeating the class because of, uh, because of an issue with the, with the Zoom. Okay, so we always, when we mention of, because of, we always mention a noun. Is that clear, guys? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, instead of saying yes. just because, we say because of. Okay, good. Um, when can we use uh, since? And since, uh, we can use since, uh, like it's a little bit formal that because... Instead of for, or, instead of saying because, we say since. Okay, yes. so the reason why I need to practice playing the drums is... Mm, but it's not, it's kind of similar, but the usage is a different. It's a little different. Um, for example, the reason I started drinking, I started to drink more water, it was... All right, normally since can be used at the beginning, okay? Since I have to pay a lot of money, we say the reason before, okay? Since I have to pay a lot of, a lot of money, I have to work. Oh, I have to work since I have to pay a lot of money, to pay a lot of expenses, for example. Los gastos que tenemos son expenses, guys. Okay? Give me an example using sure. since, guys. Mm -hmm. Since I, I didn't know how to use since, I, I, for me, it was really strange to listen when people say since in mm -hmm. my job. I it's mean, like jacket. It was really, it's, jacket. Yeah, it is like when we say jacket. Yeah. Uh huh. Obviously, this yeah, is when we are talking about reasons, Alberto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Think about an example because no, normally we use since when we are mentioning a period of time, right? Oh, since yesterday, since last year. So we mention a specific period of time. But in this case, when we're giving the reasons, we also use since to explain the reason why. Okay. 
Give me an example, uh, guys. Can can I have an example? Zero. Angela. I love. Uh, I am going to give you another example using four. Okay, we have another. Another. This is a. This is normally since and four they are prepositions, but. In this case, when we're given reasons, we can use uh, we can use them like this. I love Maroon Five for its music. I like him because of his music or its music. Okay, for its music. Okay, and examples using scenes or guys. You can use examples because of or scenes or for. Mm, I think German is complicated for its grammar. For its grammar. All right. Very nice. Applause. I love it. I love it. I love it. Use one using since, please, Alberto, as well. And the rest, guys, I'm waiting. Mm. Oh, let me think about it. Oh, yeah. this is an example for my job. Uh, okay. Okay, I mean, this is the, the first time that I, I mean, I read it. Say, since John has finished his work, I'm going to pull mine. <laughs> so, for me, the first time that I read it, that's weird. Okay, repeat it. Since, 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 John, since John finished, John since John finished, has finished or has finished, okay. Uh huh. He's task uh-huh i'm gonna start mine oh, okay <laughs> i'm gonna start mine all right yeah i mean not, for me, not that to was get really behind weird. all right yeah oh, for example weird. look alberto since you already know how to use these examples you're doing a very good job all right since you already practice since you already uh uh, so this example in a sentence, you know already how to use it, right? That is another example. Guys, help me with another example using since, please. You can use since at the beginning or you can use since here. For example, I have to pay a lot of expenses since I have to work, okay? If you put it at the beginning, no, you don't have to use, uh, if you need to use commas. If not, it's not necessary, okay? Come on. Mm. Ah, I have more chats. Since I have think, been think. saving money, I have been going to nice places on vacations. Good job. Thank you, Edgardo. Terrific. <laughs> I, I have to wake up early because of the traffic. Exactly. Or you can also change this. Instead of saying because of, we can use, sing, uh, we can use since there is a lot of traffic. Right? There is a lot of traffic. Okay? Good. Any other example? I'm waiting. I'm waiting since I've been saving money. Since I have to wear a very beautiful dress, I have to lose <laughs> extra pounds. Okay, nice. I like it. You can you can see it in the in the chat as well, guys. They are very nice examples. Okay. Now, using four, give me an example using four. He, his, uh, Alberto already gave me a good, a good example. Zero, I'm waiting for your examples. Okay. Well, since I don't have many answers, since I have a lot of silence, from you guys, we will continue with the models that we studied yesterday, okay? Um, examples, guys. What are the models well, that we studied last night? Mm, the should, should, could, could, good, and should okay model could 
Should. Would. would. What else? Would is without ish. I know. <laughs> Maybe okay. in, my, in mind. Thank you. Now, uh, might. And may. May. Mm -hmm. Any other missing? Might to. And there is, there is. Ought Sorry. To, right? Ought to. Uh, ought to. Yes. Yeah. Ought to is the same like should, but we use it most like uh, most of the time just in affirmative sentences. Okay. Okay. And we also have, uh, we also have have, have to. to have to. All right. Must, should, should, would, could. Is there any others missing, guys? Can right? But. I mean, we didn't study this one yesterday, but it's also a moda, okay? So must, when we're talking about so um, some things that it's uh, like almost certain, what are the models that we use? When we are sure or almost sure about something uh, that is happening or has happened, Must. I'm sorry. When you, we are sure about something, we use yeah. must. Uh huh. We use must. Very good. Okay. We use must. Uh, the examples that we can uh, give, guys. You must buy a new camera. <laughs> hmm. No, but this is when you assume something that's that is almost true. And you must have. You must have. Exactly. We also use have plus the past participle. Okay? Yeah, you must have. You must have. For example, hmm, guys, why do you think we have a very low attendance today? Mm. Let's assume. Since because it's Valentine's Day. Uh huh. Since it's Valentine's Day, so now it's they exam. Must, uh -huh. yeah. They uh -huh. must be on a day. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Very, very good. Since since it is Valentine's Day, um, students must have been on a date. Maybe. Yeah, very good example. I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, so that is basically when we are about sir, uh, um, about well, sure about something or must not. Example. Using must not. Can we use another um, another um, model instead of must? Mm, cool. Good, exactly. All right, because we're talking about a possibility, okay? Example, zero. Any example, guys? Angela? Using could. Okay. So, when this possibility, we have this.
There we have the models of degrees, okay? Examples, I need more examples. Model of the grids. Good. Okay. Well, I could have I could have worked on the platform today, but I didn't have time. Okay. Nice. I could have. Okay. I have another example here. He's tired. He could have been working all day. Thank you, Edgardo. That is nice. When we're talking about something that we assume that it's almost certain, we are very, very sure or almost sure that something must have happened, we can use also could. The example that I have is here. He's tired. He could have been working all day. Okay, or he must have been working all day. Okay, use a negative structure. Come on, guys, come on, come on, come on. I need participation. I could finish my homework today, maybe. I could finish my phone homework today. Okay, but what was the structure, guys? We need to use have. Remember to use could or would have. Okay, with all these auxiliaries, with all with the models, we also use have. Let me remind you the structure. There, there you go. Models for degrees of certainty. All right. When we're almost certain about something, we say, hmm, must have or mustn't have. Plus a past participle. Remember, when we're talking about certainty or something that is not possible, then we say could not. But we can use for almost certain things, we can use could in a positive way. Okay. As the example you just checked here, the one that Edgar sent. All right. When it's something very possible, Okay, we are 100% sure. So we can use may or might or could plus have plus the past participle, okay? So that is the structure I need. The example is good. Mm, I could work today. I could do my, uh, my, my homework today. I could uh, work, but that is a possibility. I could have... I could have passed, I could have passed my exam, but I didn't study it enough, okay? Could have, when we're talking about certainty, all right? Got it, guys? Yes? Give me an example, Alberto. Give me another example. Yeah, I could have forgot my keys on cafeteria. Forgotten, all right, forgotten. Remember, oh, thank you for cutting. I could uh -huh. have forgotten my keys on the cafeteria. Okay, very good. Um, there you go, guys. Those are the examples. If something is 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 not possible, we can use could or wouldn't. And um, for positive things, what are the usage? something is possible there we have the models for possibilities we can use may might or could all right plus have plus the past participle it's, uh, now i need examples zero are you there thank you claudia they must have studied more Exactly. When we have a conclusion, when we give an opinion, we can use this example as well. I love it. Thank you. And here it is, another one. They must have studied. 
Okay. Angela, your example, I'm waiting. Mm, I must have watched a movie. Washed. Wash. Ah, very good. Wash or watched? Watch. Okay. Repeat it, please. What? Repeat I the whole must, example. Okay. I, mo, I must have washed the movie. Washed. Lavarla? No, no, no. Watch. Okay. Watch. Watched. Watch, watch the movie. Watch the movie. The movie. Tuve que haber visto la película. Ajá. Uh, uh, um, and the in, in, in English. Oh, so you must have watched. Okay, you must have watched movie, the movie in English, so you could have learned more things. Yes. In English. So you could have learned new vocabulary, for example. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. All right, remember, guys, we need to give examples if we don't know how to express we can help you, okay? That is why we are here, all right? If we don't know, we help you to uh, structure the correct sentence. Okay. Um, good, 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 good. So last night, Ciro was not here, right? Who was not here yes. yesterday? Oh, Lisette tampoco. Dice que eh, pues tuvo un problema y de verdad que fue bastante... Fuerte. I'm sorry to hear that. We are going to answer the the exercises because the um there was not recording. Yeah, there was no recording yesterday, so we're going to answer the questions of three point four. I guys, creo que se me se me arruinó la computer. Your computer is down. All right. I'm and, sorry, and it's very new. It's new, actually. It's like six months old. So I it, um, has, it has it still has guarantee. Don't so any any anyways. I'm going to claim it. Mm, guys, now before we continue, when we're talking about should or could or must, what do we refer to? Remember I told you yesterday, could, it could be for possibilities or for it may. Mm -hmm. abilities. Mm -hmm. What else? Must. May for, may for permission. Exactly. When we give permission. Obligation. Mm, may. Mm, no. For most, yes. For most, that that is for obligation or when we also assume remember for assumption yes mm -hmm. for example mm -hmm. they must be or they must have been in a date right they must have been in a date when, when we are assuming okay okay now should it's when we're giving advices advice very good or we give also we give opinion right we give opinions and the other one would we already know that so would is for when do we use would for um, imaginary imaginary situations or unreal situations, situations. yes correct and also uh, would expresses something real desires all right also when we are deciding so oh i would like to do this i would travel i would love to travel to to france right would okay we also use to talk about desires might that is for what 
possibilities possibilities or probabilities probabilities or possibilities okay now can is when we also talk about abilities permission all two is the same like the should and have to this refers to a necessity okay or obligation as well. Don't forget this because we will need these answers for um for later, for a later exercise. Now let's do the exercise that we have here, guys, about knowledge check, okay? Instructions, please read the instructions, Lorena. Mm, read each situation and choose the best explanation. All right. Choose. 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 Yeah. Remember, ch ch this is a little bit stronger than choose. Choose, choose or choose. Or choose. watch and wash. Remember, there is a difference between the CH, the CH, or the SH. Jane is in terrible mood today. What do you think it should have happened today? Uh, to her. Mm, letter D, she could have, have a fight with her boyfriend. Thank you. Very good. All right, Claudia. Uh, so, the number two, can you help me read uh, Jesus? Number two. Okay. <clears throat> Brian got a call and looked worried. Uh huh. Hmm. What is your what is your assumption or what is your opinion about what could have happened? He couldn't have her good news. He couldn't have her good news. Okay. Thank you. Let's see the number 3. Help me. Mm -mm. Edgardo, are you there? You left. Zero. Okay, teacher. The teacher looks very happy today. Mm -hmm. Looks. Uh huh. Why? Why do you think the teacher looks very happy today? I'm not so happy to be honest. <laughs> My computer is not is not working well. So look, I just look. I know you. Uh -huh. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. Can I, so yes, you may have gotten a race. Okay, maybe. Uh he might have gotten a race. Very nice. Let we will check later. And Edgardo. Can you help me with number four? Please read and give me the answer if you know it. Maura couldn't keep her eyes open. Mm -hmm. She Maura must not have gotten enough sleep. Yes. Okay. She must have, uh, what is it? She must have, she mustn't have gotten enough, enough sleep. Okay. Number five, Angela. Fired. Uh, Jeff was fired from his job. Uh, what? What uh, do you think it has happened to him? To Jeff? Let us see. Let her see. He might not have done his work on he time. Oh, okay. Yeah. He might not have done his home, his work on time. Fired. What is the meaning of fired, Angela? Uh, excuse me, Peter. What, what does fire mean? 
Um, Despedido. Despedido, ¿verdad? Thank you. Number uh -huh. six, now help me. Ciro, are, are you there? Holy set, are you there? I don't know if you're there, guys. Help me with the cameras. Yo sé que la mía no me funciona, but in your case, I need you to turn it on. So I know that you're there. All right, number six. My cousin is short of money again. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Repeat. Shut up. Shut, Shut up, up, money. Money. Shut up, okay. money. Shut money. Up. My cousin is short of money again. All right. My what do you think is money. the reason of he, or he should have Shut done something money. about it, Jonathan? Shut up, money. Shut up. What is the only answer that we haven't uh, selected? Hey. She must, uh -huh. she mm. must have spent too much last month. Exactly, he must have spent too much money last month. Like it happened to me. Good job guys. Uh, you already know the answers for that. So we continue with the other that you had issues yesterday. Okay, help me reading Edgardo, these instructions, please. By the end of this session, participants will have learned the use of the past model for giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical past events. Pat's events. Very good. Thank you. So for hypothetical or hypothetical opinions uh, or past events. Good job. Uh, so we already know uh, what are the what are the models that we use to talk about hypothetical situations, right? Yes? Would, should. Should have or would have, right? We have yeah. should have. Basically, that is basically when we are assuming something that has happened before. And let me see what else. Would or could have. It's also when we say or give opinion or advice. Now we were going to answer the knowledge check. Um, I want you to remember guys, I'm going to delete this. I hope that you tell me the answers again. Okay, so here we are. Um, uh, read for me, uh, Jesus. Okay, number one. <clears throat> I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. Well, he shouldn't have dressed neatly. I know, sorry, I confused. He should. He, couldn't. He, should. He, he could have. <laughs> he, he could, could have, have dressed. dressed. Yes, because it's a positive way. I mean, uh -huh, it exactly. Mess. It's like an opinion, right? <laughs> hey, pudo haber sido yeah. de esta forma. It's when you give an opinion or when you give an advice. In this case, it's more like an opinion. Okay. Number two, uh, help me, please, Lisette, if you are there. You were not here yesterday. I hope that you that you got the answers correctly. Help me, Lorena. Number two. I could have asked him to wear something nicer. Very good. Okay. I could uh, or would. In this case, would. Sorry, I would. Yeah. Can we try? Would. We could, maybe. Okay. Sometimes there are some more options, but if it's not could, probably it's would. The next one, Angela, number three. Or this one? Um, 
John borrowed my car and then borrowed 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 my car and then tell it when he re returned it he didn't when she re say, when he returned it when he returned, he returned it, it he didn't even say anything about it be he Angela, I need more fluency, please. John borrowed yes, my car and then it. Then when I when he returned it, he didn't even say anything about it. Uh-huh. I don't I know did a very clear the um, screen. <laughs> um he uh, tell no, tell no. Remember, we need to tell. use past participle. Tall, tall. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. he he could have, have told. He should. Aquí de, he tenía, should. Uh, debía should haberse have lo dicho, told. ¿verdad? Es como una sugerencia, ¿verdad? She should yes. have told you. Told you. Told you. All right, vaya. Eso ya la contestamos ayer, guys. Como les digo, estamos sí. repitiendo la clase porque no se quedó grabada completamente. Entonces la voy a subir desde ahora para los que no se conectan este día. So, okay. so should have told. Continue, please. Lisette, are you there? Yo creo que aquí es rented, que lo rentó, ¿verdad? No es dented. No le veo, no le veo lógica. I don't see logical there. Ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's rented. Thank you, Claudia. Ok, Claudia, you're there. Can you read the next one? Yes. Um, well, I, I wouldn't have lent, um, lent it in... Lent. We, I no, will Siri. start. Ahí es, ahí es no lended, no, no es una, un regular verb. Lent, yes. Well, I wouldn't have lent. Ah, lent. Very good, lent it to him. I wouldn't have lent, lent it to him. him. I wouldn't have lent it to him in the first place. He's a terrible driver. Very good. Number three, uh, help me, Jesus, uh, Alberto, if you remember. I exhausted Mary come over and stay until 2 a.m. She, I forgot, <laughs> honestly, I forgot this one. I, you forgot? She, yeah, lo olvido, she, no, lo olvidé, as I forgot. Okay, shouldn't have uh, stayed. I shouldn't have stayed. Okay, no se tuvo que haber quedado, ¿verdad? All right, let's continue, Lorena. You... Mm. We 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 answered this well, yesterday. We we joining, yeah. We could, exactly. could have start joining. Should have started started joining. Started okay. Joining. En este caso, esta palabra tiene que ir, si no se le va a salir mal. La number four have paid, and this one shouldn't have invited. Veamos si me la toma correcta. Mm, vamos a ver, esta es la que no could yeah, have. My, ah, would, entonces would. era would, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Ya. Yeah. Ok. I, Hoy I sí. Think we're not I, sure with that. <laughs> yeah, so we have the answers already, guys. Uh, remember, you can watch the video if you have um, any doubts about filling out this part. And I hope that, well, this class has helped you as um, with the. Uh, well, at least remain, uh, remembering the, the usage of the different models we have, okay? So Thank I'll you. see you tomorrow, guys. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. We will continue from the 3.8 from this one, all right? And that's it. I hope to you have a very good evening and have a uh, good night. This good Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Good see you later. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Yeah. Take care.